Good morning, beta day two. We're just having kind of a relaxed morning. We read some books, we read some Easter books, and just some spring books, and now we're working on some crafting and coloring and just making something. I think, are you making a book? Yeah. Yeah? Looks good. So it's actually really, really gloomy outside today. It seems bright on camera, but it's really not. I think it's gonna rain. So we're just hanging inside, no outside time today. I mean, we could, but everything's wet. So we're, we're just working on a puzzle here, PJ Masks puzzle, putting that together. In a minute, I'm gonna go start working on lunch. We have that chicken that I made yesterday, so I'm gonna turn that into chicken salad that all of us enjoy. <laughs> Click it in, you got it. Just push it down. Good job. Can we do it again? Do it again? Yeah. All right, you gotta mess it up. Break it up. Oh, best part. So I'm making the chicken salad and Lara was being very quiet. So I just went and she put herself down for a nap. <laughs> so she's sleeping in her room. I'm telling you, the weather totally affects my kids. I don't know if that's true for everyone, but on days like this, like I foresee, I mean, I should knock on wood, but later, you know, hopefully there'll be a good quiet time in the afternoon. So anyways, we are working on chicken salad. I just cut up some celery and onion. And I think while I have all these like greens from the celery and like leftover bits, I think I'm just gonna go ahead and make some chicken noodle soup. And that way, you know, we'll have lunch out of the way. Dinner will be ready to go. So for the soup, I just have a little bit of onion that was left over and some carrot and celery and a little bit of red potato that I just diced up. So that's just gonna cook for a few minutes, a little bit of olive oil, salt and pepper, and then I will add in the chicken, which is already cooked, so it really just needs to kind of, you know, warm up and release the flavors. Um, but then I finished my chicken salad, Luke had his, and I'll chop this up to put it in the soup. All right, soup's bubbling away. I just lowered it to a simmer. I did add in some lentils. Just kind of bulk it up a little bit. So that's good. Dinner is halfway done. Um, and then I just made my lunch. Made some avocado toast on rye bread with a little bit of mashed avocado, salt, pepper, and a little bit of garlic powder. And then I chopped up one tomato, one of those small ones that I showed you yesterday. I'm gonna put my chicken salad right in here and then just kind of eat it with a spoon or put like a little bit on the, the toast and eat it that way. So about to sit down. All right, we are back home. Luke is napping and I'm actually going to make a quick batch of chocolate chip cookies. I was going to use the recipe on this bag, but it got ripped. I can't quite make out what these things are. So I'm just gonna look up a basic recipe and get those going so they're ready for later. We actually have Bible study tonight and it's our last um, session of like the series is tonight. So I just wanted to make a little treat to bring with us to share. And um, yeah, the girls are just playing. Uh, Luke is snapping and the soup is on the stove. It's just simmering away, so that'll be ready. I think I wanna also make a loaf of the one hour bread to go along with it, but I don't have to make that just yet. I wanna get this dough um, prepped and then I like to chill it for a little while before I bake. So while it's chilling, I want to finish working on editing my video for tomorrow. You know, the two day delay thing that I do so that I can film one day, edit the next and have it up the following morning. So I'm gonna get all this uh, dough prepped and in the fridge and then I'll get to editing. It's been kind of drizzling all day, but it just picked up and got a little bit heavier. So we're gonna, you know, keep staying inside and just make the most of this rain day, which hopefully will help all the flowers to bloom. But everything in here in the sunroom is looking pretty good. My forsythia did uh, bloom in that I forced, you know, in the water. The the uh, magnolia haven't done anything yet, but the magnolia on our tree are starting to bloom. And then the girls painted these little pots, these little flower pots here, and they gave them some little violets to put inside. So those are looking good. My hyacinth is it was only like this tiny little thing, so that's definitely growing. 
And over here we have a few. I definitely want to transport all of these or transplant all of the, you know, daffodils and things that are bulbs to being outside after we enjoy them in here so that we can enjoy them again next year. But yeah, these purple ones, everything's doing pretty good in here. This was actually a, um, like a moth or a caterpillar cocoon that the girls found. It's all dry. There's not anything like inside of it, but it just looked cool. And it was like already attached to this stick. So they just stuck it in there. Okay, my video is edited and exporting, but I'm not quite ready to bake the cookies yet. I want them to sit a little longer. So I'm just coming into my room. I pulled out a bunch of things from the girls' closets. Did a little like spring cleaning. So all of these clothes, I'm just going to straight donate to, um, we have that free swap coming up that I've done, you know, in previous seasons. So all of that I'm going to just donate. But as I was going through some of Lara's things, they're, they're really so cute and in really great condition. And I, I used to consign more back in the day and I just kind of stopped doing it because it wasn't really worth my time, to be honest. But I think I might try to do like maybe a Facebook Marketplace sale and just list them all as a lot because I'm not really saving anything from Lara because we're having another boy. So there's really no sense in saving it. Some things that were just like really, really special, like one or two things I have put aside to hold on to. But otherwise, I think I might try to list these. So I'm going to, some things are on a hanger. I'm gonna just hang them up on my, I have like a little hook here on my bedroom door and take the pictures of them and then try to list it. So those are posted on um, just Facebook Marketplace. I don't have like a Poshmark or anything like that. Um, I've never tried to send things into like ThreadUp. I've shopped on ThreadUp a lot, but I've never actually tried to sell through there. Honestly, I like I've said, I usually just go ahead and donate things or in this case, I would just save them for the swap. But they are really nice, so I thought, why not? Let's just give it a try. And then if they don't sell, then I'm happy just to donate them. So that is listed. I'm happy to have that done. Okay, cookies are done. Bread dough is made and rising. We have about 10 minutes left of that. Soup's done. Now we are addressing this big mess over here. Everyone is helping to clean up. We have lots of little papers everywhere, all over the floor that we're working on. And I am uploading uh, my video for tomorrow. So we're trying to get this all done before we head out. All right, so bread is done. Always comes out great. And then the soup, I just did veggie lentil. I figured since we're having bread, didn't really need the noodles. So we're just gonna have that and then we're gonna be getting ready to go.
got home from Bible study a little while ago and we hadn't yet cleaned up from dinner. So we kind of quickly went around, did that, got the kids in PJs, got them off to bed. And then Dan went out to actually go help my parents with a car issue. And I just finished up in the kitchen tidying and then making lunch for tomorrow. Usually Evie packs her own, but it was late, so I just did it for her. And the kids actually did Easter egg dyeing with their group today, which was pretty cute. That they gave them actual real hard-boiled eggs. I thought that was actually pretty awesome. We plan to do them ourselves, but probably not until like the Friday or Saturday before. And then they did an egg hunt. So now we have tons of candy and eggs and, you know, all that fun stuff that comes with Easter. So Luke was in bed, but then I heard him in his sister's room and they're all reading books together. So it's pretty adorable. We actually plan to, he can get in and out of his crib now. And we plan to move him into a big boy bed. I mean, we were going to whenever he was kind of ready for it and like getting out of his crib. So it just happened to work out timing wise really well. Um, not that we really use the crib for the baby and like for the first, you know, few months or so but it's just nice that it worked out that well that way so but that will be definitely a project for this month or may um to get luke settled in his big boy bed before the baby arrives and dan is here all done so i'm just gonna go ahead and end the vlog here thank you so much for watching and i'll see you tomorrow